Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be using the Craig Universal Bench System to build a sort of a tech workbench. So yeah, I want a bench for my computers, 3D printer, things like that. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put links to these items on Amazon. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So what the Craig Universal Bench is, is a system to create like a workbench. So we have three different parts. You choose your height, you choose your width, and you choose your depth. And then you put your own top on it. And you can also get casters for it here. So I got the 31 inch height here, I got the 64 inch width here, and I got the 28 inch depth. So I'm going to begin assembling this. Okay, so these are the side pieces. They're individually wrapped. They have blue paint on them. And this is a C shape here. So I'm sure there are people out there that could go to a steel supplier and buy a similar type steel and they could, you know, punch holes in it or drill or weld together. And I don't think that's the market for this is people that would do it from absolute scratch. These are more targeted for people like me that just want to bolt it together. One advantage of going with a bench system like this is that you can build a bench and later as your needs change, you can change it up. So you may want a narrower side or a wider side or different height. Later you can buy the different components and you can swap it out. You know, if you have spare parts, you could sell those or buy other components to make a second bench or something like that. So I think it's a pretty neat system. And this is my second universal bench. I have another one that I made that I hold some tools on. So this box has the legs and this has the hardware in it. So these are the adjustable feet. You can see that they're huge. These are the brackets that hold the feet. Here's a leg and it has different adjustments on it. So here's the hardware. We have number eight by three quarter coarse combo drive screws. And combo drive is the square and Phillips. Then we have large nuts. I think these are for the feet and these are half inch. And then we have 5 16 nuts and 5 16 carriage bolts. And these are kind of short here. It also came with a sticker. It got kind of stuck in the side. I had to rip the box open. And these are things you can use to accessorize your bench. You can download some universal bench storage option plans. So these are the instructions here. It talks about applying your sticker, constructing the sides, joining the side assemblies, installing the feet, adding levelers, joining your bench to the top, and mobilizing your stand. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a time lapse on building this, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Okay, so in the first step, we're going to take the legs and attach some sides, and it shows a diagram here that you can move one of the rails down lower, and you can see, actually, it's easier to see here in the do not do this uh, picture. See, this is lowered here, and they're saying here you want to lower one, not both. So if you have a vise or drawers or something you want to put at that top level, you can lower one of the rails. So you could lower the rails on the front. I won't be doing that. I'll put all the rails at the top position. So the assembly will go together with the carriage bolt and the nut, and I'm going to use this uh, quarter-inch nut driver to start here. This one actually has a socket in the end, so you can place a ratchet on it. And I may use a drill to help speed this up. And I don't like to tighten these down completely until I get the bench together. And then I start squaring it up and leveling it and making sure everything's true. Okay, I have the two sides completed, and I'm using my little drill here. I have it on the high-speed setting, and I have the clutch turned way down, and I have one of these adapters here. There's a half-inch socket on here, and I'm just zipping it on until it clutches out, just to tighten everything up, just enough for the structure. Later, I'll go back and tighten everything up with a regular ratchet. I'll probably go to 3 8 inch drive instead of quarter inch. So now I'm going to attach the long rails to the sides.
Okay, I have the legs and the rails attached. Now I'm going to attach the foot part. And this has a series of holes here and it has slots here. So you line it up. You can do this at different increments. And then you put the bolts in. So I'm going to do this at the highest level. So I'll make sure this here is lined up with the first hole. And then I'll put bolts in at the bottom here and top and bottom here on both sides. Okay, so I'm going to do the other three off camera. Next, I'm going to install the leveler feet. So I'll take this flange nut and I'll thread it down. Like so. Stick that in the hole and I'll put the other flange nut on the other side and I'll tighten that down. So to tighten this down, you'll need two wrenches, one for the top and one for the bottom. And I found that the three quarter inch and 19 millimeter wrenches both work with this nut. So you see here, and then here. So if you have a 19 millimeter and three quarter, you can use those. Otherwise you can use adjustable wrenches if needed. There we go. So the next step in the instructions is to attach the top. So you would take the whole assembly and set it down on your top. And I'm going to show you here how you would put those screws in, but typically you would do it on the bottom. So you would lay your surface bottom up on the ground and then set your bench on top of it and center it. And a good tool to center it would be the multi-mark that Craig makes, it's a nice tool. So as you have an overhang here, you can take your Craig tool and measure that overhang and make sure it's the same on all sides so it's even. If you want it that way, you could always leave a thicker overhang on one side to put a bench vise or something. So you want to put the screws in here and they have these screws it came with. And to drive these screws, you can use a Craig extension. So this is their six inch extension and you put it down through this hole here and you can access the screw there. So if you have a Craig jig and you have this bit with your Craig jig, you can use it on this. So I'm going to flip the bench over and get it leveled. Okay, so I'm going to square and level everything up. To square it up, I have this large plastic square. This is like a 12 inch square. I'm also going to level the feet. I have a four foot level here and it's not touching these ends. If it was sitting on this leg, that could mess things up but the leg is just slightly below this level. So you do want to check that. So I don't knock the level off. I'm going to clamp it in place with one of these Craig adjustable clamps. So when I tightened one up, it shifted. So I think what I'll do is I'll get one close, I'll tighten it, check it again, and then tighten the second one. And I'm using a half inch socket on a 3 8 inch ratchet and I'm using an extension here. I think you need an extension or maybe a deep socket to do this. Okay, so I've squared up and leveled this end. Now I'm going to square up and level the other end and then I'll square up and level the sides. You wanna make sure you tighten all the bolts. So I want this to be really level because I'm going to use this as a work surface to build up my top. So I have one layer of MDF and I want to glue on some other pieces to it to make it thicker. So I'm going to level this up and I'll return to put the top on. Okay, so I'm in my garage to work on the top. This is very dusty and I didn't want to carry this down to my basement. This weighs, I think, around 96 pounds. And this is a four by eight sheet of three quarter inch MDF. And the actual measurement on this is 49 inches by 97 inches. So they add an inch on each side. The dimensions of the top of the bench are 64 by 28, but I want a three inch overhang. So I'm going to go with 72 by 34. To cut this, I'm using a track saw and I will have my vacuum hooked up to it. This creates a really nasty dust. If you don't have some sort of saw with dust collection, it's best to do it outside. And it's super windy out right now where I live, and this would be a good time to do it outside. The wind would blow all the dust away, so you're not breathing it in. So I'm not doing a detailed tutorial on how to cut this board, but if you do have any questions about how I did it, certainly leave those down below. So I cut the board down to 72 inches, so now we're at 72 inches by 49. Next I need to cut this down to 34 inches, and I'll have to join two tracks together to get the length. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, that's complete. So now we have a 72 by 34 inch top. Okay, I have this top leveled now and I put my MDF on it. I haven't attached it yet. So I have a bunch of scrap MDF and I've been thinking about doubling it up, uh, gluing it to the bottom here. I haven't planned all that out yet, but I wanted this to be as level as I could possibly get it. So this wasn't twisted even slightly when I put the second layer on, because if I did that, it would lock in the twist. I do like two layers thick for a workbench or even three. If you're using chisels a lot and you want a solid surface under it, you could do like three layers of MDF. It'd be very thick, very heavy, very dense. But I like two and I have the overhang here. I haven't centered it up, but the way I was talking about measuring it with the multi-mark is I will place it on the edge. I'll adjust it so I know it's this long. I'll take it to the other side and see if it's longer or shorter and I'll adjust it until the whole sheet is centered on the bench. So if you're using this for a woodworking bench, when you have an overhang like this, you can clamp to it. Like so. So I think that's all I'm going to cover in this video. All I have left now is to double this up and attach it with the screws, but I actually will probably have to disassemble this a little bit to move it where I'm going to have its permanent home. And then I'll go back to step one and I'll put the Craig sticker on it. So that's the Craig Universal Bench. I can't cover everything in this video, so if there's some specific thing you want me to talk about, let me know in the comments. I can either respond in the comments or make a video. So if you like this video, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.